Hey everyone, this is Pink Princess 007. Today I want to start a new series, like a Let's Talk or a Let's Chat series. And I do want your input on how do you like the series and suggestions on what I should talk about. But I want to kick off this series with talking about dieting and making lifestyle changes. Because I've seen a lot of people on my social media talking about how they want to go on a diet or how they didn't keep up with their New Year's resolution on losing weight and being healthy. So I have a few tips and tricks that you may like or you may like to try to maybe make it a bit easier for you. Before I get started, I would like to give you all a disclaimer. I am not a doctor and if you are going on a strict diet or doing something very drastic, please consult a doctor first or a nutritionalist. And what works for me may not work for you or what works for me may work for you. But I wanted to give you all a few tips and tricks and maybe some insight on how I feel about dieting and making lifestyle changes. The first thing is I hate the word diet. The word die is in diet. I prefer calling it a lifestyle change because when you choose to exercise and you choose to eat healthy, you're making a change in your lifestyle that will benefit you in the long run. Your cholesterol will go down, your blood pressure will go down, your stress level will go down. Now the tips and tricks that I am about to give you all, I feel like it's for some people who are not really on a strict diet like myself. The first thing is that I drink my six to eight glasses of water. I know it can be really hard to do, but I at least drink six glasses of water because I feel like eight glasses is a little bit too much for me, but drinking sodas and juices aren't really good for you because they contain a lot of sugar. And I hate the feeling of drinking a soda and how maybe after two cans of soda you may feel kind of bloated. So I tend to stray away from carbonated drinks. Not to say that I don't drink carbonated drinks at all. I just drink carbonated drinks on special occasions like birthdays or a cookout. But I always make sure to get my water in some way and somehow. And if drinking water is just too plain for you, you can always buy the Crystal Light packets and sprinkle a little bit of flavoring into your water to spice it up a little bit. I even have water by my bedside. I have my 1.5 liter Fiji bottle and there's still a little bit left I drink most of it and I have this water bottle I believe I showcased this water bottle on my favorites from last year this is equal to about four glasses or four cups of water so I know if I go through this whole bottle I at least drank four glasses or four cups of water So drinking water is definitely important. A lot of people, they tend to replace drinking sugary drinks with water and within that first week they lose five pounds. But for myself, I tend to drink one sugary drink a day. I allow myself like a tea or coffee in the morning. For the rest of the day, I drink water. Another thing that I do is that I don't really count calories per se, but I kind of weigh my options. Like if I know I want to indulge in some ice cream later on in the day, I won't eat a big lunch. For example, if I want to go to Cold Stone and get some ice cream, for lunch I'm not going to go to Burger King, I'm not going to go to McDonald's, because we all know that ice cream especially from Cold Stone, contains a lot of calories. It's pretty much playing would you rather with your food. Like, would you rather eat Burger King for lunch or would you rather indulge in some ice cream later? Me, having a sweet tooth, I'm probably going to want ice cream later. So I'm going to eat 
something at home or cook something and eat a light lunch so I can indulge in my ice cream without feeling guilty at the end. Another thing that I do is that I replace chips and snacking with cereal. I'm not really a big chips person, like a regular potato chips person. I tend to eat Pringles, which has less fat than regular potato chips. And I do love to indulge in some Pringles, but lately I've been replacing chips with cereal, like Cheerios. But recently, I have been getting so tired of Cheerios. I have been eating Cheerios for a while, so I got the Honey Bunches of Oats with the cinnamon clusters in them. It is so good. And it's good if you have a sweet tooth like myself. But not indulging in like regular potato chips and Cheetos and replacing them with cereal will lower your sodium intake. And there are some cereals that are good with fiber and whole grain which will bring down your cholesterol, such as Cheerios. And indulging in cereals that are a little bit sweet like Honey Nut Cheerios and the cereal that I'm eating now, the Honey Bunches of Oats with Cinnamon, makes me want to drink more water. And finally, my last tip is to exercise. The recommended amount of exercise that we all need to get is 30 minutes at least a few times a week. I tend to strive for 30 minutes to 60 minutes of exercise. I feel that any amount of exercise will help. Even if you just walk for 15 minutes, even if you go on a 10 minute bike ride, I feel like every little bit helps. I try to exercise in the range of 30 to 60 minutes, but recently I've been doing 45 minutes of exercise and if you are like me and you can't really make it to a gym and you don't want to have to pay a membership fee and you don't like using all those heavy equipments and all those heavy weights I suggest doing Leslie Sansone walk at home series with the Leslie Sansone walk at home series you don't need any heavy weights you don't need to go to the gym you don't have to get on the floor and do all these crunches you just simply walk. You simply walk while doing minor activities such as side steps and kicks and knee lifts. The most you will use with the Leslie Sansone Walk at Home series is a stretchy band that may come with a DVD if you choose to purchase the DVD or weighted balls. And there's one series where she has like these weighted cables, but I've been walking with the Leslie Sansone Walk at Home series and I haven't been using any of those and I've definitely seen results. So if you're one of those people who don't like going to the gym, don't feel like paying a gym membership, and don't feel like doing these super crazy workouts where you're about to pass out, I highly suggest Leslie Sansone Walk at Home series. The series contains a one mile walk which is about 15 minutes a two mile walk which is about 30 minutes, a three mile walk which is about 45 minutes which is the one that I do, the four mile walk which is about 55 minutes, I also do that one as well, and a five mile walk which is about an hour and five minutes. Now keep in mind some of the Leslie Sansone Walk at Home series have HIT training which stands for High Intensity Interval Training and it gives you a stronger workout it's when you walk for about a minute, then you go into a boosted walk, which is pretty much a light jog for 30 seconds. I tend to do the series with the HIIT training when I choose to do 30 minutes. Because with HIIT training, it's like you do a more intense workout in a shorter period of time. So I don't go to the gym, I just do the Leslie Sansone Walk at Home series. You can find some of the series on YouTube or you can just type it in on Google, it'll direct you to some videos or you can purchase them on Amazon or any store that sells workout DVDs. I have definitely seen results doing the Leslie Sansone Walk at Home series.
So I definitely suggest that you give that a try if you want. And I think that's about it. I hope some of my tips and tricks can make your lifestyle change be a little bit easier. Because I'm one to think that when you're on a lifestyle change, you shouldn't give up the foods that you love. I feel like you should just weigh your options. But I did think of one more thing. If you're like me, after lunch or after dinner, you're probably going to crave dessert. But I stop eating those. Not to say I don't eat any candy at all. I do indulge sometimes. But instead of indulging every day in a candy bar or a brownie or ice cream, I tend to chew gum, which is sugar free, but it gives me the satisfaction of having something sweet. And sometimes I will eat a nutrition bar. With nutrition bars, you'll have to go through and find the one that tastes good to you because there are a lot of chalky, nasty, nutrition bars. The one I eat is Zone Perfect Chocolate Chip Cookie Dough and it tastes really good. It tastes just like chocolate chip cookie dough without the nasty aftertaste of other nutrition bars out there. You just have to find the right one that suits your taste buds. And on a positive note, nutrition bars are somewhat sweet so you will crave water. And that's about it. I hope these tips and tricks will help you along your lifestyle change. Feel free to leave any suggestions and comments down below. I love hearing tips and tricks about changing your lifestyle. And if you like my new Let's Talk, Let's Chat series, please give this video a thumbs up and give me some suggestions on things I should talk about for my next Let's Talk, Let's Chat video. If you have any questions, or comments about anything I have stated in this video, please leave me a comment and let me know if one of my suggestions has helped you in any way because I know for a fact that lifestyle changes is hard. But you can do it and I believe in you. And in closing, you're awesome, you're amazing, you're smart, and you can do anything that you put your mind to. Have an awesomely amazing day on purpose. Bye guys.